the shadow of Peter causes the sick people to come up. He sees the glory of God. He, he actually just died just like Jesus who was crucified because that's the call he had. It was so glorious. Jesus did not give up on him. This is our job as church. When a new person or a believer has been around and they tend to keep falling on their faces, let's not push them back in the grave because God called them out. You know what the meaning of Lazarus is? God helps. God helped him. Let's go help him up too. As believers, we should untie because he has things to do and this will help us as well. As believers, Pastor, can you take care of that foot thing? As believers, we should take this off because he actually has a face. He has an identity and it looks good too. We run from him. We run to him because he is ours. Amen. Amen? Commitment. Commitment to the Lord. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pray. I'm not, we're not going to do an article and everything, but with this display that we had, it's a little bit long, but there's something I want to bring to you. Some of us still, still have this in our tail, still coming after us. It's crouching by the door. And you're saying, Lord, Pastor, I'm having a hard time. I'm struggling because I keep ending up doing this. The Bible said there's judgment. But the Lord wants to spare you. That's why you're hearing this message. And some of us have judged our brothers. Instead of celebrating last, we just pushed him back into the grave. Instead of equipping, empowering so that he can move and do and create and get back his identity, we have not done that. We have to repent to the Lord about that. Because we have committed ourselves to the church and to Jesus individually as a church, and we need to do that. To celebrate one another, to co- not cover up, but to cover one another with love and run away from this man. All right? So let's all stand up. We will pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for, for your commitment to us. You have restrained yourself from judging, punishing us, Lord God, for the things that we did. Now you are asking for commitment on our part. Lord, we thank you for your commitment to love, to cherish, to celebrate us, Lord God. Father, on our own, we do not have enough strength to make any promises, but there are two things we can say. Lord, help us as we restrain ourselves to show our covenant with you, that we love you. Father, help us on the zombies in our life that keeps coming and we tend to keep running into him and bumping into this guy, Lord God, and and doing these wicked, awful things. Lord, we're tired of this. We thank you, Lord God. You said that we should deprive the flesh so that it might die. Give us the grace and the energy, Lord God, and let us see how you see sin so that we might have the interpretation that is proper and really see the ugliness of it, how awful it is, and run away from it. Lord, forgive us also on the occasions when we have given up on our brothers and sisters. As a church, you called Lazarus. The sister said, no, it's pointless. He's dead. Four days he's stuck. It's, 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 it's uh, unredeemable. But God is saying, no, take away that judgment. There is still grace. He can still change. Lazarus means God helps. Lord, forgive us for writing off brothers and sisters and saying they've always been like that. They will never change. Lord, we promise today and help us by your grace that we will now help. We will now encourage. We will not call him what he was, but we will call him what he is. In you, a new creation. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Super duper, Mr. Zombie. Awesome. Lazarus, super duper.
You. Yeah. 